Stephen Allen Music. We are about to start. So today, this is a reggaeton record. We're at the 94 BPM, and we are in A flat minor. About to get started. Song structure is four bar intro, four bar pre, eight bar chorus, eight bar verse, loops over. We got a four bar bridge towards the end, and a four bar outro for the ending. So regular reggaeton song structure. So this one's about to be easy. You know, it's all about the vibes. Let's get it. So timing is crucial. Okay. So just those, and that's it. And then we'll do another another layer of ad libs. Okay. Okay. I might not have to do that little shit after doing that. We'll see. All right. Me and Ma, you're the one I adore. Say that. Say that. You're the one I adore in, in normal voice. Okay. Me and Ma, you're the one I adore. Me and Ma, me and Ma, me and Ma. All right, dub that. All right. You can make this one a little bit more aggressive. Okay. Cause I'm panning them. I'm gonna pan them uh, in each one in each ear. Okay. Me and more. You the one I adore. Me and Ma, me and Ma, me and Ma. All right, now give me regular ad libs in the in the rapping section. Okay. Just like short ones. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hi. Ooh ooh. Nah. Give me your money then. Woo! Poppy! Woo! Alright. The hook is completed. We had to we had to build the hook and get in character because this is a totally different genre than what he's normally doing. I like diversity, so I'm pushing the I'm pushing him to the edge of what he thinks he can do and make sure that he has different sounding records for his album. So this is a reggaeton song, so I have to bring out that, you know, he's got to bring out that character and, and just bring it. So when you're doing a different genre than you're normally doing, make sure you always listen to a playlist of the current sound of that genre. That way you can get ideas of how to fit your character and your sound into that and see what type of flow patterns are going and just adapt that some of that into yours without changing like your whole style completely. And that's how you infuse that and build your own self another, you know, another way to come out. So moving on, we're about to start working on the verses and we still have the bridge to go as well. All right, you ready? Daddy-o is what she calls me. Get it on the floor, such a sexy mommy. Take the breath out my lungs when I touch your body. Death before dishonor like a kamikaze. Daddy O is what she calls me. Get it on the floor, such a sexy mommy. Take the breath out my lungs when I touch your body. Death before dishonor, like a kamikaze. Yeah, that sounded right. All right, um, ins and outs, the dubs. All right. Then we'll listen to it. 
You ready? Yep. Just what's highlighted, okay? Alright. What she calls me? To breath out my lungs when I touch your body. That... Can you hear yourself? A little, just turn it a little bit louder. What she calls me? Take the breath out my lungs when I touch your body. Death before the sauna like a kamikaze. What she calls me? Take the breath out my lungs when I touch your body. Death before dishonor like a kamikaze. All right. Now, hold on. I need to move everything up. Cordy, you on the wrong track, first of all. That's why you couldn't hear yourself. Um, I need some, I need a, I need ad libs. Okay. Cause I'm gonna have these pen left and right, so I have space. I have space for an eyelid. So the uh, the daddy, you. I need you to that. drag that one out. I'll just say to drag it out. Okay. Yeah. So daddy, you. Okay. Right. Definitely need that one. All right. Okay. But not a lot of eyelids. Just probably like one or two words. Ready? Mm-hmm. Daddy, yo. Mommy. Yes. All right. That should be good. The bridge is completed. I went ahead and did the bridge because I wanted to make sure that the flow uh, kept going and that all we have to worry about is the verses. But the verses, the strategy is very simple. Simple. Just keep it simple and keep it moving. But we got the hard part out the way and that's the part that needed to get done first. So when it comes to the bridge, make sure it flows in back into your pre-chorus. If you have a pre-chorus, so flow in back to your hook. So you just gotta make sure everything just cohesive together. So sometimes what I do is I'll, I'll use a, a line or two from the hook, throw it in the bridge and just have a different first two bars, but like a repeating second bars from like previously somewhere in the song and boom, that's your bridge right there. Yeah, easy. But we're about to start working on the verses. Let's get it. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Hourglass. Woo! Wow! More and more. Whoa! Yes! First verse is completed. All we have left is the second verse and that's it. So when you're doing your verses, if you do your if you're recording your hook first, your verses, that energy just got to translate into your into your verses. You got to keep that same tone of voice. That way the groove doesn't change too much when you're doing your different parts. And that's how you get it done. And just keep it simple. Keep the recording process simple. If you don't need to dub it, don't need to be dubbed. You hear little things here and there, add them in. They don't sound good when it gets mixed, you can take them right back out. But it's better to have it than not have it. But there is such thing as overdoing it. On this one, just keeping it completely simple, straight to the point, nothing extra. So, let's get it. I love it when you call me Poppy. Rocking on your body, swimming like the Navi. That's a Spanish track song shit. You know, this one take a lot. You even called it out. It's gonna be a long session. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo! Wow. Oh my. Wow. Burn it. Ah. 
Verse 2 is completed, which means we about to wrap this up. We about to start listening from top to bottom. Check the vibe. See if we need to change anything, add anything, take anything away. Just double check and just, you know, chill out. Make sure that we got everything that we wanted. And that's it.